She's uh, an ambassador for women in the trades. She's a businesswoman. She's a mother of two small children, and uh, she, you can't stop her. She does a great job. Uh, she helps so many women out there that uh, that I've met through uh, through her, uh, along with uh, Suzanne and, and numerous other ones. And no, it's uh, it's a great thing that she's doing. She brings a, a very interesting dynamic to a group and an industry that, that doesn't traditionally have um, a, considerable amount of a, or a considerable amount of female presence. Um, that would be Jill Drader. We have currently 15 guys that we're doing this with. I'm passionate, I'm driven, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a proud Calgarian. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of Calgary. I'm a graduate of State in the province of Alberta with a journeyman status. And I'm a connector. The number one thing that Jill has contributed towards my new career and to other women who are looking to get into the trades is that she is an example of a woman in, the work, or woman in work boots herself uh, as a tile setter and she verbally empowered me to be able to do something completely different. I think that she's just doing wonderful work that way. The message that I'm trying to convey to young women is that there's opportunity in careers you might not know exist. And there's women in and around Calgary who are currently doing this work or have taken an apprenticeship and earned a journeyman status and are now business owners or really happy employees at companies. And I want to share their stories. So as a storyteller and somebody who's gone out and researched and interviewed what makes them happy and passionate and driven, my hope is that others read that or hear that and can take away that message and apply it in whatever they do. I believe that's why she, she garnered that passion, it was due to the fact that she saw that um, women were definitely underrepresented in, in male-dominated trades. And I mean, a lot of these jobs are, are very high paying. There's a lot of benefits to these jobs. And uh, because they would say they were hostile or they would say that it was too hard a work for a woman to do, um, I think she got a passion for that because she can do the work. I know I'm making